I think that the number of WA health professionals here today clearly demonstrates the agreed position that detention harms children, adolescents and their families. No period of time in detention is safe. Specialist colleges and international bodies, including the United Nations Human Rights Commission, continue to oppose detaining children and families. Health staff regularly witness the breaches of children's rights and the widespread detrimental effects of detention on health and well-being. This is compounded by witness violence, a lack of stable education or appropriate peer interaction, and negative impacts on parental mental health and family stability. Children and adolescents commonly present with bedwetting, nightmares, psychological distress including anxiety and depression, developmental regression, self-harm, anorexia and headaches. All of these outcomes are a direct result of the children's detention experiences and cannot be rectified within a detention environment. Mandatory detention is destroying children's lives and families with effects continuing years after their release. As child health professionals and experts, we support the National Call for Compassionate Legislative Change to end their suffering. No child or adolescent should be held in detention here or offshore. Detention is harmful and this should not be tolerated for children. No one leaves home unless home is the mouth of a shark. You only run for the border when you see your whole city running as well. You have to understand that no one puts children in a boat unless the water is safer than the land.